All right, so I'm currently on the phone with Jerwin. He's another musician that reached out to me about the interview series. So I'm going to go ahead and give him the chance to introduce himself. Hello, everyone. Thank you for having me in this uh, podcast. So let me introduce myself. I am Pado, so I am also a music producer, independent artist, and DJ from Philippines. Excellent. So uh, I always like to kind of, um, you know, go backwards and kind of figure out, you know, when did you first encounter music? What about it really connected with you and made you want to participate in it? Mm, for me, since I was a kid, I even listened to any music from car stations, radio stations, and whatever. And I figured it out. My mother and father was, they are both uh, singers and they are both uh, participate in wedding venues. And then I was thinking, or I, I was thinking myself, uh, am I going to be a successful, successful musician someday or won't? Would I be a successful music producer? So I rather do something like uh, I playing some instruments before. Then my mother bought me some instruments like organs, guitars, and whatever it's stuff. So and then I just play uh, whatever that is, like to play some chord progressions, some music theories, and other stuff. And then my grandmother just bought me a, a a little laptop or a small laptop rather and then some speakers keyboards and midi keyboard i have so um and then i just installed the softwares like epiton Apple studio and other softwares and then i just learned or discovered some pictures the how i gonna use this and whatsoever and when i was in school i just uh, participate in music programs like um, pageants, uh, music clubs, and and so much more. And then I just uh, I just don't show up my talents from my classmates because I'm very very shy as an introvert person. Yeah, I know I know some other talents don't show up because you know. Um, when I was in stage before in pageant, oh no, I feel nervous all the time. <laughs> when I run in, in my in my uh, classmates and my teachers, oh no, I don't know what to do. You know, when I play some um, classical songs, I uh, classic songs like Green Day, uh, Air Supply, and then, uh, <laughs> and I, I just sing. You know, I, I don't have some singers, so. Um, and then it, it is actually the first time I, I was entering stage. So, yeah, I feel nervous. Um, I have some connections with other musicians before through online, and I never, and I never um, meet up before. So, yeah. Uh, yeah, that's all I'm going to say. Okay, sure. Um, that, was, that was a very in-depth um, explanation of, you know, who you are and how you got into it. That's great. Um, so going back a little bit, um, give me some information about, you know, first learning an instrument and how you kind of applied that uh, into leveraging a creative talent. Like, at what point did you start deciding you wanted to make music for yourself? Oh, um, you know, when I... When they just bought me some instruments, and then I just uh, learned it from YouTube tutorials, and then I just watch it all the time, and then I just want to play it. And how I play on, um, based on the chord progressions, finger styles, and simple chords, you know. And then when you, when I listen on Spotify, and then I just played in my guitar so that's i gonna know and then in piano i have some big piano here so um i just learned from uh, from my teacher before from music school and then um i don't know how to read the music shit and then <laughs> it's so difficult to to know the the notes the time signatures and whatever and <laughs> um that's all i gonna say Okay. So you would kind of say that, you know, as soon as you started learning an instrument, you started kind of uh, figuring out how it could be applied to creating your own music kind of thing. Uh, yeah, I forgot. Um, when I started uh, learning from instruments and then I just 
dra- uh, just record it on my phone and then I just drag it to my software so then I I just wondering if it sounds good <laughs> if not I just play another melody or harmony and other stuff okay and so uh have you worked with other musicians that are around you or kind of have you always kind of uh been focused on your own music and doing it yourself um sometimes when i work with my um producers and other musicians and i just work with mnm productions uh is ctfd and other uh record levels and production levels so um because they just replied me that i'm great producer you know and i just create music from from uh from the release stores or music stores and then uh they just told me your your songs are cool so i they just um go there to the to their um production level that's why i just work with uh, musicians sometimes i want to work with my own so yeah okay and um so on the production side of it how many clients would you say you know approach you about that how many other artists are you working with to do you know their recording um speaking of clients uh probably last year um some of my clients uh i i think it's more than 10 clients they just uh text me back personally in face uh messenger and then they just said hey bro uh can you do beats can you mix and master this yeah I, I can do bits and other services because i just work with uh wn beats production with my um assistant producer so yeah and then uh it, they just paid me off i yeah they just paid me some credits and then um if someone tells me your my bits are good and then they just increase the price you know it's cool it's so cool awesome so uh getting back onto your music um how have you kind of identified the content and material that you want to write uh you know what is your uh, message and your lyrical content about um honestly i not uh i'm not into a songwriting process and then i just working with beats and other stuff but i have some songwriter to work so um there's one girl uh her name is kat aga and she's um she's my musician duo songwriter and um i just realized she making lyrics about love and other stuff and then when i sent her my beats and other stuff and then she put my she put her lyrics on my beats so and then i was think i just asking her what is the message of this song and then she told me it is all about breaking break up songs you know <laughs> and then i was dreaming about um <laughs> it's hard to explain on how i rejected the girl that i like to you know you, you know what i saying is like um when i having a crush at someone and but the girl wants once uh you know it's hard to explain you know um <laughs> yeah um but so I, would, just, would you but, kind of call yourself uh more of like a beat maker and you have other people do the vocals is that kind of uh the angle that you're working um honestly i just work with beat maker also the um mixing master audio mixing and mastering engineering also um i just do sing back uh, vocals but uh you know the said you know the said uh artist yes as i know uh he seen the vocoder you know the vocoder effects so yep. yeah i just want i just want to be with him that i want to sing with effects on my voice so yeah it's very cool i like okay. to explore more okay. more um more production stuff with other EDM producers Okay, sure. So along those lines, um, you know, in five, ten years, where do you kind of see yourself? What What do you want to see accomplished within you know that amount of time? Um, for me, in next ten years time, it would be, you know, to be a famous and popular musician someday. <laughs> okay, and you mentioned that you you know you'd like to work with Zed. Do you have any other kind of uh, milestones that 
um, you would want to accomplish on that you know end goal of achieving fame? Um, you know, as a promoter, I can do promote songs on other social medias like Spotify, iTunes, and other stuff. And then I just um, learning on how to promote it. And sometimes I'm so this I'm so lazy. <laughs> you know, every time when I doing school works and I cannot focus on promotion and other uh, services. And uh, about the milestone, I achieving, I achieving some um, articles that I read. Yeah, someone, uh, what do you call this? Someone who put me on the vlogs of websites and that's all I gonna know. Sure, okay. Um, so, in the amount of time that you've been working on music, what are, you know, some of your motivational memories that, you know, keep you focused on it and keep wanting to do it? Um, my motivation is to explore gener- different genres of when I'm making music. And I just want to go back to the old classics in 90s <laughs> I love. And then, you know, I just love being uh, a Kygo fan of VGs and other stuff and then I was honored to have them remix the work I produce you know every time I listen to any of their tunes and then it just gives me a purpose and motivation to make music again so it's something that I can be explained because uh, but listening to your favorite songs and artists takes your mind away from everyday problems and re- replace them with inspiration and creativity when it comes to um about stories, themes, and other um, uh, issues around the world. Awesome. So uh, where can people find the stuff that you've put out and that you've produced or the artists that you've worked with? What are some of your social media links? Um, you can you can follow me on Spotify, which is uh, named FADO, as in F-A-D-O, capital, capital letters. So, um, and then on uh, YouTube, my YouTube channel is... Um, name Fado Official, yeah, capital letters. And then um, in Facebook, Fado Music, uh, all big letters. And then um, on Twitter, we are Fado PH. And what, uh, what they call it? Um, you can follow me on Facebook, uh, Twitter, and IG. IG is uh, we are Fado or underscore uh, official, yeah. Awesome. Um, so I always like to give the person I'm interviewing the opportunity to put out their last word. So what's a message in general that you resonate with that you want to put out there? Okay. Uh, some of the producers, musicians, and other friends. And I would like to say you, you can do whatever you want and just don't be nervous and just uh, create music and produce your own songs on uh, whatever you like and just share your music on social media especially your your friends and neighbors and other communities and just do whatever you like so that that gives you a purpose and motivation to make music on your real life 